Carrie Cohen was born January 30th, 2001, and was 14 years old when he went missing with his friend Austin Stephanos from Jupiter Inlet, Florida, on July 25th, 2015. He is 21 years old at the making of this video. Austin Stephanos was born December 1st, 2000, and was also 14 years old when he went missing. He would be 21 years old at the making of this video, almost 22. On July 24th, 2015, Austin and Perry left from Austin's house that morning. They took Austin's 19-foot single-engine Seacraft boat for a fishing trip unsupervised. They were both experienced with fishing and boating, even at their young ages. Austin started driving boats at the age of 10 and could even make minor repairs to engines. According to his dad, Austin could only drive a few miles offshore on days when the sea was calm without an adult present. Austin and Perry sent their parents text messages at 11 a.m. and bought more than $100 worth of fuel at a marina in Jupiter, Florida. The boys used Snapchat in the afternoon and the last message read, we are. A few hours into their trip, a storm came and the storm brought winds that were up to 40 miles an hour. The boys never made it back home. They were reported missing by their parents at 5 p.m. and the Coast Guard started searching. On July 26th, an aerial search was performed and the boat was found 60 miles off the coast of Daytona Beach. However, by the time the crew made its way back to the area to grab the boat, it was gone and they weren't able to locate it. Not until September anyway. The boat was found 160 miles off the coast and it was not able to be recovered once again. Finally, in March of 2017, almost two whole years since the boys had been missing, a Norwegian transport ship recovered the boat from the coast of Bermuda and they brought the boat to a Florida port. The battery switch, which was difficult to read and pretty much impossible to turn off accidentally, was switched off and the key was in the ignition in the off position. Austin's iPhone was recovered and there was also fishing gear on board the boat, but the white Yeti cooler the boys had, as well as some life jackets, were gone. The phone, of course, was badly damaged from months of being in salt water and originally Austin's dad supposedly did not want the phone looked at, but he eventually gave in. They were not able to get anything off the phone, unfortunately. Eventually, the state of Florida opened an investigation into Austin's family for child neglect. Fast forward to June of 2017, and law enforcement officers in Florida came to the conclusion that there was probable cause to go ahead and charge Austin's stepdad, Richard Black, with child neglect due to his, and I quote, egregious lapse in judgment. And due to said lack of judgment, the boys disappeared. However, the prosecutors in Florida did not file charges against him. Austin and Perry's moms were once close friends, and after the boys disappeared, they had a falling out. Perry wasn't allowed to go fishing unsupervised, and supposedly, this was something that Austin's parents knew. The same summer of 2017, the boys had been missing for two years, and Perry's mom filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Austin's stepdad and grandpa, claiming that they were responsible for Perry's death. Austin and Perry have never been found and are presumed to be lost at sea. In July of 2021, Austin's family had a statue dedicated in memory of the boys and the inlet. It's of a man and a woman looking out at the ocean and it's supposed to represent the fact that it could be anyone. I didn't bury my son, I have no place to go, said Austin's dad. The family also did it as an act of gratitude towards the community for their support. A mural of Perry Cohen was also added to a campus at Jupiter Community College, and his family created a foundation and it helped fund the Perry J. Cohen Wetlands Laboratory. The foundation was created in the memory of Austin Stephanos, called the Austin Blue Foundation, and it helps promote boater safety. Austin Blue Stephanos was last seen wearing a long sleeved black shirt camouflage print board shorts, and a gold chain necklace with a cross on it. Austin was five feet, two inches tall, 
and weighed 115 pounds when he went missing. He is white with blonde hair, green eyes, and a birthmark on his upper arm. Perry Cohen, I couldn't find any information regarding what Perry was wearing, but Perry Cohen was five feet, two inches tall and 120 pounds when he went missing. He is white and has brown hair and brown eyes. The boys are considered lost and injured missing. If you have any information regarding the disappearances of Perry Cohen and Austin Stefanos, please call the Tequesta Police Department at 561-768-0500. You can also reach out to local law enforcement. I'm sure that they would guide you in the right direction. And also the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, um, I'm sure would be able to help with anything that you may have. If you do come across this video, I ask that you, of course, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I also ask that you leave a comment and that you remain respectful in the comments because no matter what you think, um, it is very important that we are respectful in the comments. And if you are a praying person, please pray for the families of Perry Cohen and Austin Stephanos. And please remember at the end of the day, we are all somebody, someone. Thank you for watching.